In the competitive world of e-commerce, default layouts and templates will only get you so far. At some point, you need to have more control in order to fine tune the user experience on your website. Thankfully, with the addition of some plugins, WooCommerce product page templates can be modified. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. Lately, I've become a huge fan of the e-commerce UX research shared by Baymard Institute. They critique popular online stores and provide a ton of information, as well as great examples that you can use as inspiration. For example, let's look at Apple's product page design. Now let's compare it to the default WooCommerce product page. So today I want to show you how to use toolsets plugins to create a template for product pages that looks exactly the way that you want it to. We'll copy Apple's design, but you should see other examples to find what works best with your brand. Here's a quick introduction to the plugins that I'm using today. And as always, links can be found in the description below. Toolset is a flexible and powerful suite of plugins that allows you to build advanced sites, even if you don't know how to code. Its features extend the functionality and options for building custom WooCommerce stores. This is the main tool, so to speak, that I'll be using in this video. Then I'll use WooCommerce bulk variations to extend the functionality of the product page. This Barn2 plugin speeds up shopping for customers who want to buy more than one variation of a product. Instead of having to select variations and add them to the cart one at a time, they enter the number they require of each variation and add everything all at once. Then if you prefer, WooCommerce product table is another plugin which makes it really easy to list other products within your toolset product page template. The plugin creates a table layout that will make displaying grouped products much more convenient. So as you'll see, Toolset and Barn2 plugins can work together seamlessly to create completely customizable product pages, and we'll do all this in just three steps. So follow along, let's get started. So let's begin with step one, where we can create and assign our product template. Once you've installed and activated Toolset on your website, from your dashboard, scroll down to Toolset and choose Content Templates. Then you can click on Usage for Single Page and Add New, or you can click on Products and create a content template for single products. Now, we don't see anything here, but if I open the settings on the right, we can set the conditions for which products this will apply to. Now it's set to products, except for products where the stock status is zero. If I remove this, then it will apply to all products regardless of their stock status. And we can also set the priority down the bottom here. Higher numbers are higher priority. Now I already created one with a priority of 100, so I'm just gonna create this one with a priority of 1000. So it will apply instead of the other one. Then I'll click update. Now, if you go back to the Toolset dashboard, you can see the list of content templates that apply to your products. Once you've created your templates, you can build your content using the extensive block library from Toolset. They allow you to display product images, an add to cart button, product tabs, product reviews, and way more. And now we can begin building the page from scratch. I recommend pressing this plus button and beginning with a container. All of these orange blocks are from the toolset plugin. So let's drag and drop a container onto the page. And within the container, let's add a block and let's use the columns. We're going to add two columns and I'm going to make them 66 and 33. And in the two thirds block, I'm going to add a heading and this is going to be the title of the product. So we need dynamic source and we need to choose the content and the source will be the post title, which is going to be the name of the product. Now, if we want, we can choose a product to view while we're doing this. For example, we can find our t-shirt and it's going to dynamically update to the title of the content. In this case, it's just a simple t-shirt. And remember, this is a template. So you're not actually editing the product itself. You're editing the page, which will update depending on which product you've clicked on. 
Now we can go ahead and add a new block. Let's use the ratings. And let's drag that beneath the title. Perfect. And let's keep adding more blocks. Scroll all the way down to see the rest of the blocks from Toolset. And you can scroll even further to see the specific ones for WooCommerce. So I can add the Add to Cart button next. And as a variable product, it's going to show up like this. And I can add something else. I want to show the product excerpt, the short description. And for that, I can drag in the single field block. And then for the field, I'm going to choose the standard field. It's going to be from the current product, and it's going to be the post excerpt. And it's just going to read what's written in the product short description or the excerpt. Okay, so that's a good start. Now over on the right here, let's add the image. So we can add the block and we can search for image. And we use this orange one here. And we want a dynamic source, yes. And we want the featured image. Perfect. Now this image is going to dynamically update. And by the way, if we want to change the width of the columns, we can click on the column here, and we can see the width is set to the percentage of 33.33. If I wanted to, I could change that, for example, to 40, and the other one will go to 60. Now, beneath all of this, I want to add some more information. So let's press the plus button, and let's scroll down until we get to WooCommerce under Toolset. And let's add the product tabs here. And this is going to include some information such as the description, additional information and reviews. And beneath that, we can even add related products. And remember, we can use any of the settings over on the right here to customize the colors, sizes, padding, etc. This is very similar to how you would edit with Elementor or Gutenberg. It's all the same sort of steps, but I, I don't want to bore you going through all the little details. So some of the main ones you should know is how to add the columns, change the column widths, and add different blocks. Now I'm going to hit update. So this is what the page looks like as a template. So this is not just applying to one product, but all products. And here you have a, we have a container and we have two columns. The first column has all of these blocks and the second column has the product image. And then finally down the bottom, we have a group. And within that group, we have product tabs and related products. And we're going to view this on the front end. I seem to be having some issue with these drop down boxes. They're still working, but they don't look the way I'd want them to look. So I might have to dig in and find out why that is the case. But otherwise, everything else is appearing on the page as I hoped. And remember, this is dynamically updated for each item. Now, if I went into the details of how to edit every single aspect of the toolset blocks, then this video would just take all day. So this is really just a starting point for you. It's best if you look up toolset's knowledge base to find out other ways that you can edit the blocks and add different features to your product template. But I hope this has served as a bit of inspiration for you. So you aren't just limited to the default templates in WooCommerce you do have other options. And Toolset, along with Barn 2's plugins, provides a great way to customize your WooCommerce store. Once you've used Toolset to create a WooCommerce product template, you can use Barn 2's plugins to list products and variations on it. Use the links in the description of the video to get a copy of either plugin and install them using the Add New and Upload plugin buttons in WordPress. Both WooCommerce bulk variations and WooCommerce product table come with shortcodes that you can add to text-based blocks in the toolset template. I'll show you an example of how this works now. You can either add the shortcodes to the template itself, or you can add different shortcodes to one of the text fields for each individual product. 
developers will probably want to add shortcodes to their toolset templates, along with some extra code to control which products to display on each page. Less technical users should add the shortcode to the short or long description for each product, using the shortcode options to choose which products to include. Now, of course, there's a lot of information to share about this, so I've linked to our knowledge base, which will give you all of that in detail. In any case, I hope this toolset tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd appreciate your support on the channel by liking this video. It's a huge help and takes literally just two seconds. On this channel, I love sharing easy ways that you can improve your WooCommerce store. For example, in this video, you can learn how to add dozens of custom options to products with just one plugin. And as always, thanks for watching.